Hi, and welcome to week 14 of U.S. History. So this week, we're going to have a comprehensive exploration of the post-Civil War landscape in America. Our journey will encompass the imperative for reconstruction, a comparative analysis of the plans devised by Lincoln, Johnson, and Congress, a dissection of the tragic events surrounding Lincoln's assassination, and an examination of President Andrew Jackson Johnson's excuse me, reconstruction plan. We'll make a meticulous evaluation of the transformative economic shifts in the southern states uh, as well. So we will begin by looking at the reconstruction. So to comprehend the imperative of reconstruction, we must delve into the multifaceted challenges that beset the nation in the aftermath of the Civil War. Reconstruction emerged as a strategic imperative to rectify the economic, social, and political disarray prevalent in the southern states. The need for economic recovery, societal integration, and the establishment of novel governmental structures underscored the profound significance of this era in the nation's history. So proceeding to a nuanced examination of the reconstruction plans proposed by key leaders, namely Lincoln, Johnson, and Congress, we encounter varying strategies and ideologies. So Lincoln's plan, rooted in a spirit of uh, conciliation and leniency, was disrupted by the tragic circumstances of his assassination. Subsequently, Johnson and Congress engaged in a discourse marked by opposition, resulting in a two different types of visions for the reintegration of the southern states and the establishment of a post-war order. Events surrounding Abraham Lincoln's assassination represents a tragic chapter in American history. The untimely demise of the nation's leader in April 1865 precipitated a collective sense of grief and uncertainty. The aftermath of Lincoln's assassination bore profound implications for the trajectory of Reconstruction as the nation grappled with the loss of a unifying figure. So we'll then transition to an, exi to an examination of President Andrew Johnson's Reconstruction Plan we will look at the intricacies of his approach to re reuniting the nation. Johnson emphasized on a rapid reintegration, but that faced challenges, particularly in the form of opposition from radical Republicans in Congress. This period witnessed the emergence of the Black Codes, highlighting the contentious nature of Johnson's lenient approach and setting the stage for heightened tensions between the executive and legislative branches. So finally, excuse me, we'll evaluate the South's new economic system. So the transition from a slave dependent agrarian or agricultural economy to a post-war reality brought with it uh, complex changes. Sharecropping emerged as the predominant economic model, contributing to debt and exasperating economic disparities particularly affecting the socioeconomic fabric of impoverished farmers. So to conclude, uh, we're going to take a look at the landscape of reconstruction. We're going to scrutinize the blueprints of key leaders. Uh, we will discuss and talk about Lincoln's assassination, evaluate the new economy of the southern states and its characteristics, and we hope that we can reach a comprehensive understanding of the material by then. Now, next week, we our midterms will begin. But before that, we will have two days, two sessions to review uh, before our midterm. The study guide, as you know, has been published on BC for some time now. So please take a look at it, study it. And we will, if you have any questions, we will cover them right before the midterms begin. So thank you.